Today, in almost all walks of life, energy plays a crucial role. Be it domestic chores, business, transport, industry, communication, health or agriculture. Massive amounts of energy being consumed in these sectors come almost entirely from fossil fuels. It has been known for quite some time now that our fossil fuel reserves are finite. Practically, even the available stocks are very close to being exhausted. Given our increasing dependence on energy, the question is, how can humankind survive in future without access to adequate supplies of energy? Today, of almost 6 lakh villages in our country, nearly 79% are known to be electrified, as per official records. However, only 44% of the households in these villages actually have access to electricity connections. Even these households tend to go without any electricity for many hours a day because of unavailability of power. Keeping in mind the importance of rural electrification to meet the country's developmental goals, the Government of India has ambitiously targeted 100% household electrification by the year 2012. This is a tall task as many villages are so remote that grid connectivity is considered either not feasible or not cost effective. Over the past couple of decades, researchers have been exploring solutions to these problems through renewable sources of energy, such as hydro, solar and biomass. Interestingly, in recent times, there has been the advent of yet another promising renewable energy option, and that is biofuels. Biofuels are vegetable oils that possess properties similar to those of petroleum products. In effect, therefore, they can be used for the same applications for which, currently, liquid fuel is being used. The added advantage is, they can literally be grown locally and do not harm the environment to the extent it is harmed by fossil fuels. Recognizing this potential in biofuels and to foster local self-sustainability in the rural community, Windrock International India, with support from the British High Commission and the Ministry of New and Renewable Energy, set out to demonstrate a successful experiment utilizing straight Jatropha oil to light up a remotely located village in the country. This is Rani Dehra, a remote village located inside a valley surrounded by forested hills in the picturesque state of Chhattisgarh in India. The total population of Rani Dehra is about 600, comprising mostly of members of the Gond and Baiga tribes. Even though rapid progress has been made in other parts of the country, the entire community in Rani Dehra is still locked up in a bygone era. They still hunt using bows and arrows, their agricultural practices are quite primitive and they have very limited access to facilities such as education and healthcare. They do not have electricity to light their homes and pitch darkness descends at sundown. Ironically, massive electrical cables carrying power to the major industrial hubs of Raipur and Korba pass right above this village. The current generation of children of the village who have the fortune of being able to attend primary schools are constrained to study under dimly lit kerosene lamps. In our village, there are many difficulties in our village. And there is no water here, nor is there any water here. We have to ask water, to light, to eat, 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 तो हम लांधेला हो जाते मिट्टी तेल तो मिल भी नहीं करे। Taking stock of the grim scenario prevalent in this village, a small team of energy specialists from Windrock International India approached the villagers and engaged them in a discussion. Initially, it was difficult for the villagers to understand the idea. However, over several months, through a series of village meetings and awareness generation camps, they were able to convince them and obtain their consent for the new project. The village has a lot of unused barren land where Jatropha could be planted. Windrock staff also convinced the people to plant Jatropha saplings on the buns and boundaries of their own fields. All planting activity was carried out by the villagers themselves. 
Then, over the next few months, the villagers managed to plant more than 25,000 Jatropha saplings on the barren land, on the boundaries of their farms, through voluntary labor or shramdan. The saplings are over two years old now and have already started bearing seed. Meanwhile, plans were underway at Windra to design an electricity generation system of a kind never attempted before, that is, a diesel engine which could be operated directly using straight Jatropha oil. The mission required making modifications to the engine and using special lubricating oil that would eliminate the need to convert the Jatropha oil into biodiesel, which is a costly and complex process. Finally, after several painstaking pilot trials along with PM Diesels and Castrol India Limited, success was achieved. Test runs of 500 hours and detailed wear and deposit analyses confirmed the possibility of successfully running a diesel engine using straight Jatropha oil as fuel. Further, a powerhouse comprising of appropriate equipment was designed for building at a suitable spot in the village. For running the powerhouse, as well as for proper administration, accounting and equitable distribution of the power, a village energy committee was constituted and its members were trained. Land was acquired in the name of this committee for the construction of the power plant and bank accounts were opened in a nearby bank. Construction work was started soon after the acquisition of the land. The powerhouse has a large storage area for Jatropha seed. The expelling section consists of an oil expeller and filter press. The generating equipment consisting of engines and alternators are installed in the engine bay. Adjacent to this is the power distribution board and control panel. Electricity is distributed through the village through a network of cables on poles. Street lights have also been installed at strategic locations. After the commissioning of the power plant, persons from the village itself were trained to operate and maintain the equipment. They are also capable of maintaining the distribution network, the oil expeller and the filter press. The seed is collected from villagers during the season and the cost of the same is adjusted against their electricity charges. The village committee, in consultation with the villagers, decides the power supply timings, tariffs and salaries of the operating staff. It is a closed system, which is self-sustainable and has minimal dependence on external support. The power plant was operationalized on the 9th of April 2007. Till date, the plant has run into zero downtime and 100% payment from villagers for the energy service. A rare feat in any rural electrification project in India. Light आने से हमारा मन पढ़ने के लिए कहता है। अपन लीप झाल लेते हैं, खाना पका लेते हैं, चावल निमा लेते हैं, अपन दर कूट लेते हैं, पीसाई घसाई कर लेते हैं। सब काम कर लेते हैं। दुकान भी ऐसे टाइम से हिसाब किताब कर लेते हैं और लाइट भी अच्छा से मिलता है तो और ग्राहक भी कुछ टाइम तक आते हैं। रोड में लाइट लगे हैं तो सब आने जाने वाले के सब के अपन सिर्धा होते हैं, बढ़िया उजाला में चला था, रेंगा था, फिरा था। ये जो बायोडीजल की जो प्लांट है किसी प्रकार के सिको शिकायत भी नहीं है यदि कहीं लोग रुचि से और बढ़िया इसका रखरखाव करके यदि कहीं चलाएं तो बड़ी लाइट से मतलब इसमें कोई कमी नहीं है। Today the village of Rani Dera has been electrified and the smiling faces clearly tell that it has been a fulfilling experience. The lives of these villagers have been enlightened forever and it has become one of the first remote villages to be electrified using straight Jatropha oil. Today biofuels is considered mainly as an alternate fuel in the transport sector. However, for a country like India, biofuels hold enormous promise for remote village electrification. India has taken up the biofuel challenge in a major way. It will pave the way to self-sufficiency in power in remote villages in India. With power will open up opportunities for various enterprises, income generation and development. All of this through an environment-friendly, renewable source. The success of Rani Dehra village can go a long way in framing the policy of the Government of India for rural electrification based on biofuels. It's the most opportune time to act. So, let us utilize biofuels and enlighten the lives 
of our rural people.